Hi guys, welcome to another Hoi4 video. In today's video I'm gonna show you how you can get two achievements as Hungary. This is kind of the beginning of the achievement guide series, although this is technically the third video so far, since I previously made two videos in which I explained how you can get some easy achievements. So the achievements we're gonna be getting are Miklo Shorty and the Habsburg Prince, and also better than the Saint Istvan. Ironically, both of these include Miklo Shorty in some way. So we're gonna play on Ironman mode, historical boxes, and regular difficulty. Let's start. Besides being an achievement guide, this is also a guide on how you can play Hungary in the best way possible. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna delete all of my divisions except for six of them. Those six divisions will be exercised. First focus I'm picking is balance budget. As for production, one factory goes onto the CAS, one factory goes to the support equipment, and the rest goes to the guns. I'll be building one sieve in the state which doesn't get infrastructure from this focus right here, that's Alfuld. And let's research basic machine tools, light machine guns for fighters, and truck. I'm also gonna gather my air force in one place and let's exercise them, I want to get one air experience. After we're done with the first focus, I'm gonna hire a sound workhorse, so you get some more political power and let's still strengthen the monarchists. At this point I'm gonna draw a front line on the Austrian border and let's have an offensive line. Let's now research alter mechanical engineering. Also let's create an agency real quick, we're gonna need it at some point. The second focus is finished, I'm gonna wait until I get 150 political power and let's instantly hire a fascist demagogue. And now I'm gonna go for the next focus, which is Elect the King. I'm also gonna research Concentrated Industry 1. Also, I'm a fool, I forgot to buy steel, so yeah, it is what it is, though. Let's hire an operative, and she's just going to sit here for now. Scholastica Bothmer. Why is her name Scholastics? Let's research Construction 1 and improve machine tools now. By the way, I do have one air experience, so let's make the cheapest possible fighter. And I'm gonna produce two factories of fighters and two factories of cas. I'm gonna stop production of support equipment and I'm gonna have only one factory of guns. Let's also go with one factory of trucks. I'm gonna stop importing steel and I'm gonna buy one factory of rubber from France instead. Let's give these guys a general and also a field marshal. And our boy Ferenc is gonna have offensive doctrine and organization first. We'll be also creating a brand new template which is gonna consist of only one cavalry battalion. How original, I know. The lowest priority, and let's put six of those into training, because that's how much I can put in. I'm out of manpower. I don't even have that much manpower. Let's stop exercising our troops, and let's stop exercising our planes. Alright, so we went for Elect the King, let's now invite the Habsburg Prince. Next thing I'm gonna go for is Army of Pence Expert, Hugo Sonny, so I can get some actual army experience. And here we are, we have Otto von Habsburg. Now we can either demand a referendum or take Austria by force. I'm gonna take Austria by force because I want to get rid of the Treaty of Trianon. That thing is painful, and Austria isn't too hard to take. Let's go for political loyalty for some extra stability, and let's open up political discourse, because we will eventually go fascist. These six divisions are ready to be deployed, I'm gonna deploy them and put them right here. I'll put them in the first army, but they won't have any orders, they're just gonna stand right here. Let's also move all of our planes to this western airport, and let's go for concentrated industry too. Let's go for ground support expert, so that we get some air experience. Alright, this focus is finished, we now need to slow down the game and start the micro. In the meantime, I'm going to start the focus industrial revitalization. Ideally, we would be able to do the next focus right here, which is restoration of Austria-Hungary, before we even finish this one. So let's see if we can do it. So let's declare war on Austria, and now this is how we defeat Austria. Make sure your planes are assigned to Hungary. And here's the cool thing. Austria will attack here. All of their troops on the front line will attack here. You have to wait until they're all about to reach this location. And when it says we'll arrive at next location in zero hours for every single division, then we just fall back. It says zero hours everywhere except for this one infantry division right here, so let's wait for another two days. Now what we need to do is to fall back these two divisions and start marching one of these towards the location. They instantly pin these and what we can also do now is encircle these six divisions. It basically works like a charm every single time, it's the same. All of their divisions get stuck here and one division goes to Vienna. Later on they're gonna put one division most likely in Graz, but that's it. Once you've done this, Assign every single infantry division to this the circle front line, and you might have to do some micro, but it's not that much. As for the six cavalry divisions, they have to take the victory points. Keep in mind, when taking Austria, all you need to do is to take Vienna, take either Linz or Salzburg, take either Wels or Klagenfurt, 
take Innsbruck and take this province right here. If you take all of those cities and taking no other extra city, you'll be able to control every single state of Austria without capitulating Austria, which will lower the world tension that you're going to generate, and you're also going to get some extra factories. It sounds complicated, but it's really not. I could put one more division into training, let's do that. And here we got the fascist assault divisions, which is really important. Extra manpower, and most importantly, under 5% fascist support. Alright, that's really misfortunate. They had one of these divisions right here, but I think we'll be able to go around them. This will slow us down greatly, however. Let's research radio. And that's it, we managed to destroy these divisions. Next thing we have to take is Vienna. And let's not forget that we must not take Graz. Destroying this division here is going to be beneficial, but we don't want to take the city itself. And so let's make sure the planes are supporting our troops. Let's deploy this last division. And it's now it's time to start improving relations with Czechoslovakia. We're also sending one spy, and she's going to do diplomatic pressure there. All right, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to build one factory, I guess, in Alfield. Military factory this time. We're not going to be building any more civs throughout this gameplay at all. All right, here we are. We have control over Upper Austria. We managed to spawn one more division in Graz. Let's destroy both of them. We also managed to take Innsbruck, which means we have control over Tyrol. We took this province in Vorarlberg, which gives us control over the state. So, only thing we need to do now is to take Vienna. Just as I'm saying this, we finished the industrial revitalization, which means we've got another 10 days to spare before we can take Vienna, otherwise we're losing days, not doing any focuses. And we took it. Let's now do restoration of Austria-Hungary. And I'm going to produce a little bit more of guns now. We just have to make sure that we don't take any more extra victory points, because that could ruin our run. Anyway, we're waiting until we reach 45.1% fascist support. Oh no, another division in Graz. Let's destroy it. Boom, it's gone. Stop all four divisions. Anyway, we got 45.11% fascist support, which means we can now do discredit the government and hold national referendum and we're fascist. I'm instantly going to go for state service in the military. That's why I'm going to have more than political power. Although we lost a pretty nice national spirit, so yeah. That's the price we have to pay, being fascist. Probably should have delayed the regime change for some time, at least another month or two. Alright, let's convert every single division to this one, so that way our army is a little bit bigger. And here we are, we restored the Austria-Hungary. Next focus is protect Czechoslovakia. We can now take them out by just taking Graz. Minus 0.1% world tension by annexing Austria fully. Now let's put our troops on the Czechoslovakian border, and let's go for a volunteer only, since we're out of manpower already. I'm going to train these small divisions, and then I'm just going to convert them to big templates, so that way we can have more army in the field. Let's go for mechanical computing, and let's deploy these 24 divisions, and let's convert them to big template. And now I'm going to build military factories here. One thing I should have done is the non-aggression pact with Czechoslovakia. I forgot that, only because of minus one relations we're unable to do it. That increases the chances significantly for them saying yes, either becoming our puppet or getting annexed, but let's see what happens. Bohemia returns to the crown. Okay, that was amazing. That was some good RNG. Usually, they just become our puppet, but this is even better. So we already are super powerful with 60 factories. Next thing I'm going to do is claim Transylvania. Also, I could delete this second army. Next thing I'm going to research is Concentrated Industry 3. Let's produce some actual artillery. Five factories is going to be more than enough. We got too much guns. We can even produce some support equipment now, ironically. On top of that, we can even produce some trucks, some extra trucks. I'll even go for some light tanks. Let's give them a small cannon, cheapest possible tank ever. Then I'm going to go with five factories of it. Also, I'll be building military factories in places with the best infrastructure, although I will avoid Sudetenland because Germany. Let's put this army onto the Romanian border, while the first army will go onto the Yugoslavian border. Also, I'm a moron, let's put another 12 divisions into training here. Let's improve the artillery. Anyway, let's go for limited conscription and start to deploy these divisions. Let's now modify this template, it's gonna have support artillery, armored light tank recon, and maybe let's make it like 16 with. We need a little bit more artillery and a little bit more tanks. And here we are, we're about to claim Transylvania. We won't go for the first option, because that's the most stupid thing you could ever do. We're gonna go for the second option instead. And the next focus I'm gonna do is reintegrate the railroads, because every other focus down here besides this one, and the months before it, is basically useless. They just give you claims. Although this one does give you cores right away, but you can core them later on anyway. Anyway, what we should do now is join the Axis. And once we do that, we approach Germany as the mediator. Romania transfers Transylvania. But before we click this, we need to start justifying on Yugoslavia. Because it's going to be super quick. We got entire Transylvania for free. 
Now what we need to do is to protect this front line against Romania at all costs. Especially important place is Brasov. I'm going to build level 2 4 there. It usually gets lost, but we shouldn't lose it. Let's go for a local police force and let's use these guys so that we have some more resources. Here comes the Treaty of Cryola. It doesn't matter, it's alright. Let's get air crew surveys. Let's go with more artillery, I guess. Anyway, very important thing. We should go for the war economy right now. Let's move all of our planes right here. We have over 600 planes. They're going to be sent to Western Balkans. More ground crews. Next focus is support domestic industry in Bohemia. Yes, I mean, it is home. Let's get the anti-air. Maybe some more production of planes. Why not? And let's give these guys trucks and these guys as well. I think we're going to have enough. All right, here we are. Time to declare the war. And now Romania will be called in. What we really need to do is to make some encirclements. Land lease is going to be fine, why not? Advanced machine tools. Here's the very first small encirclement. Let's go for formation flying and let's produce more planes, I guess. Can't really ever go wrong with the planes. Maybe an opportunity to encircle many divisions here. Let's try to do it. My next focus is Institute for Industrial Techniques. I'll have to do some really annoying last stand and Force detection and against the seal if I want to do this encirclement, but I really want to. Alright, let's go for superior firepower. And that's it, we're about to destroy them all. Let's also walk into the victory points. Let's get dive bombing. And even more planes, because why the hell not? Hey, you know what? Let's just push and take out Yugoslavia. We got an encirclement here, let's destroy it. And there goes the Yugoslavia. I'm just going to annex them fully. Next step, Romania. Let's make a full attack with these divisions. That way they're going to stop and prevent these guys from reinforcing. All this first army is mainly going to focus around here. Try to take the Romanian lowlands. Romania is not too easy to take once you reach their lowlands, it's over. Let's announce the Dior program. Now let's research some more industry and artillery. I don't know what's quicker, defeating Romania completely or just taking Brasov. I think defeating Romania is going to be quicker. Maybe I should try, however. Let's see if it works out. Computing machine and let's produce more... I don't know, honestly, more guns. Yeah, let's do more guns. Let's get our ground support, and I think we're about to take the city finally. And here we are, we took it, which means we'll be able to reintegrate the Empire. I'm instantly going to start justifying against uh, Italy. It's going to take only 100 days. That's because we have cores in some other states. And I think that's going to be it, because they don't have Dobrich anymore. Yeah, that's it. Mm, Romania. I could pop at them. I don't really have to. But you know what, I'm just going to let them exist. I don't want to have issues with, you know man to the east. Right here is the next thing. I have to fight against Italy. I'm going to take this entire army and putting it on border like this. So this army, one half will go here. The other half will have a fallback line around Zara. You know exactly what I'm going to do in Zara. Buy some clothes, you know. You can also go for radio propaganda for some more war support. Let's keep pumping out those military factories. I have to do delay. I'm gonna go for domestic arms industry. Also, I'm gonna research basic small airframe. We could produce some more planes. Let's do that. Ten factories each. That's good enough, I think. Let's also build airports here and here. Justification is finished. Then let's instantly declare war on Italy. I'm also gonna start justifying on Albania. You'll see why. Anyway, let's instantly start destroying troops in Zara. The end of League of Nations. Who cares? We don't need so many divisions here. Let's get four of them up here. Eight is more than enough to protect Zara. I also tried to make another troll zone in Fiume. Might have one troll port when you can have two, right? I love seeing this. We already got 1.2 thousand planes. Damn, I forgot to steal Romanian Navy. It's okay though. I would have like four ships instead of zero. Let's do Aeronautic Technology Institute. That's gonna give me a research slot, which I'm unironically gonna use for air. Let's utilize domestic film industry. And we can now go for total mold. The only things I need to produce now are basically guns and planes. And we managed to cut the UMA off. Some of their divisions will try to escape, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna have a trap here anyway. We just have to make sure we don't ruin the fun by taking it. But you might be wondering why the hell was I justifying against Albania? Well, they're now guaranteed by the UK, which is a very important thing. Fun fact, Italy still has about 100 divisions. Justification for Albania is done. I'm not gonna play war on them, don't worry. Let's go for service by carbon since we're gonna lose manpower due to total mob. And all of a sudden Italy has like no divisions on the front line with us. But it does have almost half a million casualties while we have 13k. The German Reich demands the Sudetenland. We're gonna let them have it. We're gonna get it back later. Let's do war games. Hunt and destroy. Half a million casualties. 
And they still have 50 divisions. Eight of them on the front line with us. Amazing Italian AI. Let's get concentrated industry four and also assembly line production. And now for no particular reason whatsoever, we're going to create a new template, which is going to consist of only one infantry battalion. And we're going to put like 100 of these into training. Yeah, let's do 200. We can afford about 170. We got a sm basic small airframe. I'm going to go for construction three. Let's make some slightly better planes. Let's now establish the air force. Yeah, we're going to establish it after we build one and a half thousand planes. Also, let's go for mobile defense. And what we should do now is deploy these 200 divisions. I'm going to put them into the new army, a new theater. They're going to be garrison divisions. And guess what? They will, for no particular reason whatsoever, garrison France and also UK. And I really wonder why. I could put some extra of these into training, like another 50. What we're waiting for right now is basically for Italy to send an ultimatum to Albania, which is guaranteed by themselves, by France, and also by the UK. You say where this is going, definitely. And also Italy has a really weak army right now, only about 200,000 troops in the field. That's only 40 times bigger than Albanian army. So basically what will happen here, they're going to sell an ultimatum to Albania. Albania is going to realize that it's guaranteed by two major countries besides Italy. They're going to say no, and they will attack Albania, and as a result... They're going to be at war with the Allies. They're not going to join the Axis because I'm in the Axis and they're at war with me. And since I'll be fighting alongside the France and the UK and all their puppets, I'll be able to ask them for military access. You know what happens after that. Let's go for improved worker conditions. Why not? The next focus is boost Hungarian aviation industry. The model of Ribbentrop, which means soon we're going to see Albania being eaten alive. Or actually not being eaten alive. Let's deploy these 50 divisions, and let's move all of them, like, here, next to the margin of line, because we have military access of Germany, we're in the same faction. We could start making some pushes in Italy, by the way. And here we are, Italy declared war on Albania. I can ask these guys for military access right away, and I can instantly start justifying on Albania once again. It's gonna take only 40 days. And now, we beat Italy. And the first army is gonna go like this. Push. Make sure they're supported with our massive air force. Mussolini will soon be deposed once we grab control over a couple more states. We stole Milano from the French. And this is what Italy currently looks like. For the future German ultimatum. Now this is a bit misfortunate. Because thanks to Czechoslovakia not existing, you know, Poland happens a bit sooner. And as a result, Germany ends up at war with the Allies. I'm gonna keep the occupied territory. Occupied Italian territory. I think they're my puppet. Yes, they are, but they're in the French lands, which is even better. So we have to capitulate them quickly. I think, like, two more cities and that's it. Also, let's go for the indigenous designs. That's it. Italy is gone. Goof, yeah, Italy stole my land. I need Tuscany. I can't take it. I need these two states as well. I'm not going to take any of them. I'm just going to take my course. Now, the Canese, Libya. What you really need to do, however, is make sure this Reino del Sud gets its land, so they don't randomly lose it. We can sacrifice Sardinia, it doesn't matter. You know, let's steal all the navy, and confirm an exit. And at this point, I should be able to get the first achievement, which is better than the Saint Istvan. Although I can't see it right now because I previously got it. Now we need to prepare for the second war, and we need to prepare quickly. One army goes right here, one army goes to Albania, and that's really it. Now we declare war on Albania. They're part of the Allies, so UK joins in. Almost taken out. Slow down the game. We need to get all of our planes to the UK, or at least most of them. The biggest issue right now is the war participation. If I don't fight long enough, Germany is going to steal everything. And I mean everything. But it doesn't matter. We got to 90%. That's because we just capitulated the major country. All we really need to do is to take like one more major city. Maybe two more major cities in the UK. I'm going to go for Bristol. Next up, I'm going to go for Cardiff. We can easily destroy this division right here. That's it, the UK is gone. We stole most of the stuff. To get the achievement that we're looking for, the Horty Miklos one, we need to own these two states. We need to own this state in France. We need to own three more states in Italy, all of Czechoslovakia, all of Austria, and two more states in Germany. So we have to go to war with Germany later on. Anyway, here we are. This is the end of the peace conference. Interesting enough, Poland is currently alive, believe it or don't. I'm going to leave the axis. I'm going to ask them for military access. They're either going to say yes, that's great. Too bad. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Anyway, we need to uh, own these three states. So I'll have to start annexing Italy by building, I guess, infrastructure inside the territory and whatnot. 
As for peace conference, you might be wondering what happened. Well, there is Papa. That's what happened. Germany took New Zealand, Australia, Canada. We took pretty much everything else. Rip Poland, and guess what we're we justifying against now. Anyway, we've got 240 of these divisions and only two armies of these. So you're gonna need like five armies of these. Plus, we need to make them actually decent. I'll try to go for 26 with, with support artillery, recon armor, and also... Nah, I can't afford an entire, I don't have any of it. I'll try to make two armies of these. We're gonna convert 48 of these Order 66 divisions to actual ones. Now let's make an Order 66 order in the entirety of Germany. Well, the German core states at least. We like artillery and we like guns. I'm gonna produce more guns. As for the artillery, I'm just going to remove one artillery battalion. This is going to be 25 with the infantry instead. Embargo by Cuba. Oh no. Anyway, cast focus. And until he's now a puppet, we have to make him integrated puppet and then annex them. That's going to require some more building. Let's give all these guys trucks. Currently, I'll have to put one army on the Maginot line. An army will protect Austria. Well, one army is going to hold a fallback line, something like this. I'm not going to protect Czechia, there is no way, but I'm going to protect Slovakia. Yeah, by the way, we definitely got one of the achievements at this point. I'm not sure, but I think you have to assign Mikko Shorty as the Admiral, and that will get you the better than sent Istvant achievement. Now I have to build factories all across Italy. Now let's build them in south because they're based. Mm, I wanted to order 66 Germany, but now I realize there is no way because all of their allies are their puppets. Although they are guaranteeing Turkey, I could justify in Turkey. Yeah, you know what? It's gonna take only extra four months. I'm doing it only because the leader is Kazi Morbai and not the Ismeti Nonu. Otherwise, it would take a year. This way, only four months. Man, look at this. It's not even 1940. We already conquered the Allies. They're about to take out Germany. Germany attacked the Netherlands. Okay. So they are expanding in the Benelux. It's alright. Rip Netherlands. But they did make five puppets down here. Alright, we can lower the autonomy of Italy to integrated puppet. And let's finally send them uh, all the homeless we have. Here we are, declare war. Please capitulate Germany right away. We've got so many planes. Come on. So this is diversity, having so many diverse planes. Man, I love this game. I was this close to capitulating Germany, and now I'm never going to capitulate them. This was a perfect run, I swear to God, if it wasn't for Germany. But hey, it is what it is. Romania seeds Bessarabia, okay, yeah, rip Romania. Out of all places, I had to attack them from the south of Poland. Every, everywhere else, there was just so many of their divisions. Just one more city, come on. Any city. Just like the last time. It's gonna be Kassel, it seems. I forgot the city even exists. Such a forgettable city in Germany. Alright, we took them out. This could have been way quicker if we just had one more town under our control. But let's just say we did. If we did, then we would easily get the achievement in 1940, possibly in 1939, but now it was 1941. Anyway, let's take all of these states. Anyway, that was the first uh, serious achievement guide video. We got Miko Schwarti and the Habsburg Prince. And also better than the St. Ishtan achievements. I think this guide is pretty decent. The only bad part was when it came to destroying Germany. That was kind of a misfortunate one. But I think anyone can easily destroy them. Order 66 or not. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, share and subscribe. Uh, leave in the comments if you have any suggestions. And see you in the next video. Bye.